Well, it finally happened to me. I've been using the 11 rec editor without issue since, you know, before its inception, before its initial release. I've never had a problem with it, but I'm sure you all are very aware of the problem of sometimes you try to open up the 11 rec editor and it's just a white screen or it's minimized and you can't bring it up. Now, I'm not having the problem now, but I, I just had the problem a moment ago, and there are some troubleshooting steps you can find on the Avid website, and I believe this is mentioned there. You know, some of the things you could do is like right click and try to move or shift right click and try uh, move or restore. Sometimes that'll work. That didn't work for me, so I'm gonna show you what I did to get my 11 rec editor back. Very easy, very simple. So let's go ahead and get started with it. Uh, this is for Windows, by the way. I don't think this has happened on Mac. All right, so you'll want to go to, in our case, our C drive and our users folder and your named folder, whatever your name is for your, your computer, you want to go to app data. Now, if you don't see it, I'm on Windows 10 here, so it might be a little different for Windows 7 and Windows 8. Uh, it's basically the same. You just want to go to view and you want to make sure you show your hidden items. Then go to app data and go to roaming and go to Avid. And right here, you're going to see your 11 rec editor folder. Now, you can just delete these files here or you can actually delete the entire uh, folder. So of course we want to close this first. Now you should probably close Pro Tools too. I'm not going to. Work. Let's do this in real time. Now I'm not having the problem as you can see, but let's go ahead and just do this anyway. So I'll just hit the delete key. Completely gone. Now at this point you should probably go ahead and empty your trash. Again, I'm not going to. We don't really have to. We're going to leave this folder open too so I can show you something. So come back into Pro Tools. Now we can click this button right here because we're in Pro Tools 12, 12.1 uh, or higher I believe to open the uh, guitar window or we can launch it uh, you know, from a desktop, from a start menu, whatever. So I'll just launch it from here. And now it's gonna come up just fine. You know, as it was for me, because I've already done this, but if it's not coming up for you, this is the solution that worked for me. You know, the shift right click, a uh, move that wasn't working. So we deleted that folder. Now look here in this folder, we stayed in this folder and look, the folder was recreated for us. All of these files were recreated. You can even see the time. So that there's the timestamp. You can see that's the exact time it is now. Well, you know, um, one minute ago. Okay, and now the 11 rec editor, your 11 rec editor, if you're having the problem of the white screen or not being able to pull it up, should now be fixed. And you should have your 11 rec editor back. And again, you can open and close it from within Pro Tools. So if you're having the problem of your 11 rec editor staying minimized or showing up as only a white screen and restarting your computer has not helped and using the other workarounds hasn't helped, just go in there to your C drive, your user's drive, your named user's drive, your app data, again, you'll have to have hidden items showing there, and then go into roaming, and then go into Avid, and just delete that folder. Okay, delete it. After it's deleted, you should probably empty your trash, and then restart your 11 rec editor, and you'll be good to go.